Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on guys? Today we have our first cornerback tier list of Madden 23. Before we hop into it though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And as always, thank you for watching the video. So here is the cornerback tier list. I'm gonna hide the face cam real fast for you guys, but yeah, B tier is done, C tier is done, and D tier is done. We're gonna go over some A tier guys and obviously some S tier guys as well. But a little tip I wanna give you, is your tier list might look a little bit different than mine depending on what defense you run. I tried to keep it as balanced as possible, but say you run man 75% of the time, pick a corner that has better man coverage. Or say you run zone, pick a corner that has better zone coverage. It's pretty obvious, but I feel like some people kind of forget that sometimes. If you are just getting started out, that could maybe help you out when it comes to picking the cornerbacks. Most likely though, you are running that 3-3 nickel blitz in Chiefs playbook, running zero, run running man coverage. So um yeah let's just hop into the tier list the first name we're looking at today is the unsung hero patrick sertain sertain is a pretty well-rounded corner for a cornerback at launch obviously better in man coverage but if you are running that zero blitz this would be a really good card to go after because say you do want to drop in his zone at some point he can he can definitely hold his own any six foot two and he can tackle pretty well that's those are pretty good tackling stats for a cornerback in august so a pretty well-rounded corner to start the year, Sertain looks pretty good. The height, the speed at 85. But does he have what it takes to be an S-tier corner? And I don't think so. I think he's close. I do think he's very close, but I'm going to put him up here in A-tier right next to Jamel Dean. And now we have Stefan Gilmore. And I need to get my hands on this card. He's got great ability buckets. Man-to-man, man-to-man, man-to-man. What more could you really ask for? 89 overall with 87 speed at 6'1". Can play man, can play zone, can press. Can't tackle as good, well as certain, but still, these stats with that speed. Whenever we're able to get our hands on Stefan Gilmore, hopefully he's not already outdated. But if you if you could somehow get this card today, he's easily S tier. I mean, this is uh, this one's pretty easy to me. So uh, yeah, Stefan Gilmore right to S tier. I gotta move this up a little bit, but that card looks nasty. I cannot wait to get my hands on him. So Caleb Farley was a card I was a little bit skeptical of using. For a couple reasons the play rec and like the awareness is definitely a reason which you can't tell that much that he has such low awareness in play rec it does show up at some times but i feel like for his price tag like 25k for this card it's really good bang for your buck and he's also a top tier or at least a top two tier corner in the game with that 87 speed at six foot two and also over 80 man coverage is also super important so caleb farley i think should probably be on everyone's team if he's not your corner one or two, at least he's your corner three. Um, he definitely does put in work. The card does play super well. Even though I was skeptical at first, I think it is 100% worth to go after Caleb Farley. So um, Caleb Farley, we're going to throw Caleb Farley. We're going to throw him right after Jamel Dean. Yeah, we're going to put him right after Jamel Dean. I'm happy with that. Six foot two, 87 speed. Sign me up. The next man up is the core elite JC Jackson. And this card might not be as fast as the other players that I'm going to put him around on today's tier list. However, I love the high-end man coverage and also pretty high-end zone coverage as well on JC Jackson. So a really nice card, even though he's 5'10 with some lower speeds. I could definitely see a place for this card in this game for sure. But I think I'm putting him at A tier. I'm going to put JC Jackson at A tier. Let's throw him... I'd probably put him with like Desmond King. I think he's like a slightly better version, a slightly more well-rounded version of the unsung hero Desmond King. By the way, Cora Lee Desmond King was balling for me. I don't know if it transfers to his to his unsung hero card, but still, eight tier is good for Desmond King and JC Jackson. Um, a pretty solid option right there, especially if you have a Chargers or a Patriots team. JC's gonna be a dog for you. Next up, we have the team captain, Eric Allen. I have seen this dude a couple times on the head-to-head -head streets but he looks pretty good the only problem is the height at 510 is what people say but this card's gonna be good how long is it gonna be like relevant for because i'm sure we're gonna get a bunch of tall corners with us already seeing the out of position randy moss 
but it is what it is 87 man with the 85 zone good press good pursuit good speed at 86 with the 87 acceleration so um eric allen is going to be a tier and we're gonna throw him right in front of kyler gordon he's basically just a better version of jc jackson more or less so yeah in front of kyler gordon in front of jc jackson Next up, we have the Core Elite Denzel Ward. Thankfully, they did up his speed from where we first saw his card at an 84. Thankfully, they upped it to an 86, which makes this card pretty solid with the good man coverage. This card, however, is fairly single dimensional. Can't really tackle that well. Can play a little bit of zone, but low awareness, low play rec. But you guys already know how I feel about that after the Caleb Farley card. But yeah, Denzel Ward, he plays pretty well. He plays pretty well. I don't think he's even like mid A tier, however. I wish he had like some slightly better zone, but guys like Desmond King, JC Jackson, they I feel like even though they're slower than Denzel Ward, they have better coverage stats. One's better at zone, Desmond King, one's better at man and JC Jackson. So I'm gonna throw Denzel Ward right behind Desmond King, but the card does play pretty well if you are looking to play some man coverage. And next man up is the 86 overall Kair Elam with the 86 speed, 84 acceleration. The most important stat about this card is the fact that he's just six foot two with the 86 zone. So if you are looking to play zone, Elam's your guy. I know a lot of people may have picked Elam for their RP, but now they're playing man coverage. So you're probably not getting the most out of your Elam. But my best comparison for this card is actually a card that we already went over. And it's basically like a, he's kind of just like a zone coverage certain. That's kind of what he's like, but also it's kind of not what he's like because he's faster. But with that being said, I'm going to put Elam in front of certain. Depending if you play man or zone, that's how I'd come to my decision between these two guys. But both are really nice. Okay, I guess this card is more like a zone coverage certain, but we have Amani. 87 overall unsung hero. This card was really good last year. And now that I'm thinking about it, I actually never got his LTD last year because he got price set. Still kind of upset about that. But I used his power up card. He was, he was fire. But Amani, 86 speed, 85 acceleration. So he is faster than certain at 6'2". I would put Amani at S tier if he had like 84 to 85 man coverage. That would put him in S tier. But I do think he is the best A tier corner in the game and A tier corner on today's tier list. So we're going to throw Amani right to the top of that. Okay, so now we're getting into some heavy hitters. The first one here is the core elite Jalen Ramsey. And you see right here, Ramsey like has it all. This is a very well-rounded corner for august with good tackling can play man can play zone can press with good height good speed good acceleration good jumping good awareness good play rep. all those things for ramsey are they are there this one should be a no-brainer however his price tag a little bit hefty wow he's going for that much 400k is wild i mean he's good but like yeah i mean yeah he's good you know but for i uh, I don't know if I could defend someone buying this card for 400k, but he's good. He's definitely good. We're going to throw Jalen Ramsey up here behind Stephon Gilmore. I'd probably still go Gilmore. If you want some slightly better tackling, maybe you want Ramsey, but I do think it is pretty close between the two. But either way, both are S tier corners. So now we have a card that is actually not in the game yet. I believe we're going to be able to get this card through some kind of objectives or solos. But we have cornerback Randy Moss at six foot four. That's the main reason why I'm going to put this card at S tier today because he is 6 foot 4 and 85 speed. He's still really good and not to mention he's got good zone and good enough man where he can do both. So yeah, and the jumping's there. Yeah, this card's going to be a demon. Unfortunately, like they're already going out of position again this year so early, which literally could suck if we get another out of position year. I feel like the content is going to be very similar to last year if they go down that route again. But um, yeah, cornerback Randy. I guess it's cool to see if they don't continue going out of position i'm down for it i guess cornerback randy week one is is uh, it's, all, it's whatever it's whatever so corner randy i'm putting him at s tier low s tier i almost had him at a tier but the fact he's six foot four i had to put him in s tier man the way that ads work this year yeah i had to put him up there this card right here in my opinion is a must have if you have coins to spend and you haven't done a headliner set for either legerius sneed or joe mixon I feel like right now you're kind of missing out because those headliner cards are really good. You got Donnie Parham, you got Carson Wentz, you got Gabe Davis, you got Devon Diablo, Quiddy Pay. You have names in there that are really good that you get back, NCAT or BND or Countbound, whatever you want to call it. 
And you also get either Legereus Sneed or Joe Mixon. I love Sneed a lot. The 88 speed, the good acceleration, can also tackle pretty well. Um, he's at six foot, which is a good height as well. He's not getting ag. And also, you can get him to 90 man coverage fairly easy, especially if you did pre order the game. You do get a plus one man coverage strat card. So, getting him to 90 man coverage is very important for how he's going to play. Also, does get the inside shade, outside shade, and pick artist and acrobat, depending on what you want to run. But yeah, this card, he's the real deal, man. Legereus Need easily is going to be an S tier corner today. I'm going to put him in front of Stefan Gilmore. And uh, the man who's up next will be joining him as well. And that man is Carlton Davis. This card does come with a price tag. Clearly, 650k is the is the average price he's been going for. That that price will come down as time goes on, obviously. But six foot one, so a good height with 87 speed, good acceleration, good awareness, good play rec. You can easily get his man to 90. Um, 85 zone with the 89 press as well. And even though Carlton Davis is one speed slower than Sneed, he does have an inch on Sneed. So I would value both these cards the same. Also, uh, uh, Carlton Davis has the better zone coverage. So I would say they basically balance out. However, Sneed is much cheaper than Carlton Davis. So if you're trying to pick one lockdown corner, I think Sneed's the clear cut option because not only like his price tag is nasty. And also if you do just play the field pass, eventually you will get Stefan Gilmore if you're doing your objectives and stuff like that. And also, if you want to get Randy Moss, there should be solos to grind for him, like I said. But I would say Legereus Need Carlton Davis, 1A, 1B for sure. Like, they're, they're really good options. So, um, yeah, that is today's cornerback tier list. Our top five today, Legereus Need Carlton Davis, Stefan Gilmore, Jalen Ramsey, and Randy Moss rounding out the top five. But, uh, yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. Daily Madden 23 content tier list. I rate your teams. It's coming back this weekend. Uh, card game plays and we're live on twitch almost every single night so if you haven't come through yet i recommend you do and as always i'll see you boys in the next one